Okay, um, I know this is really off topic of Pokemon and stuff, but I've been hearing that the, um, Capcorn Bay is a really bad bay to buy. Um, don't listen. Well, in my opinion, it's a really good bay. Um, I will show you how it actually needs to bounce. If you're just shooting it straight down, it will not work. And if you do not like the, um, how it bounces, just switch it over, and it can act like a normal bay. But I'm going to show you how it works. I'll be using this launcher. And what you need to do, instead of holding it diagonal, you must hold it at a 40 degree angle, like this. When you do that, it causes the bay to bounce. switch it over. Now it's in bounce. Now it's in regular. It's in regular mode now. Let's see how the bounce compares to another bay. For instance, let's take Rock Aquario. I forgot what the obvious does. But I. Yeah. Yes, it does have low stamina, but if you can replace um, um, anything, uh, probably a fusion wheel, it'll probably give it more stamina. But um, now let's try it on Storm Pegasus 150 RF. Whoopsie. Let's try that again. Almost beat him. All right, now let's battle with the regular mode. We're gonna be using Rock Aquario again. Now. And don't worry, my bays are not weak. I made a little kid cry yesterday. Try Pegasus again. Bad launch. Well, that's Pegasus. Well, yeah, Pegasus, you really can't. My Pegasus, that is. Um, if anybody knows how to clean this, it's really dirty. I don't think it can show up on the camera. But if I get the Capricorn one, which is newer, the eh, Capricorn's fusion wheel is a little bit cleaner. But if anybody knows how to clean the um, fusion wheels without a lot of water and stuff, let me know. And um, so, yeah. Pegasus. 